What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun because I'm going to be recreating my real life bedroom in Minecraft. To do this, I'm going to be using the mod called Chisel and Bits to give my room a ton of detail. And as you probably guessed, yes, this video is inspired by one that Smallish Beans did a while ago. So if you want to check out the video he did, then I will link that in the description box below. While creating this new world, I was lucky enough to spawn right in the middle of a plains biome, but unfortunately there were some ponds in my way, so the first thing I had to do was flatten out the land a little bit to prep for my build. The next thing I worked on was obviously the shape and layout of my room. Now, the scaling is a bit off, but I tried to make it kind of accurate. So for this build, I kind of did like one block equals one foot in real life. So from like a Minecraft character perspective, this room is big, but it I don't know. It's kind of confusing, but I tried, okay? <laughs> A fun fact about my room is that it's actually two rooms kind of put together to make one space. My house has gone through like a million changes over the years. I do have siblings that used to live home, but now they've all moved out. So I obviously took over their space and now I have this weird like two room, but one room situation going on. This weird room layout actually works really well for what I do. So the room with the black wall is my bedroom and I use the other space as an office. Now that we have the layout of my room, I went ahead and did all the boring stuff like mark out where the doors and windows were gonna go. And guys, in the beginning, when I first started using this mod, not gonna lie, it was a struggle. I've used the chisel and bits mod before, but definitely not to the extent that I've used it in this video. So as the hours went by, yes, this video literally took an entire day to make, but as the hours went by, I did learn the mod. Unfortunately though, I did put those windows way too low. So you will notice that later on in the video, they do get raised by a block. Then I went ahead and added some trim to both sides of the opening that's in between both of my rooms. I added a closet door to my bedroom and I added some doors to the closet in my office. Now, these doors are actually mirrors, so that's why they're gray. I added some more trim to frame out the doors, and I even added the track that the doors slide on. Now that all the boring stuff is done, we can finally start adding in some furniture, and right on this wall, as you can tell, I am building some cubbies because I have one of those like really big IKEA cubbies. I use the large cubby to display all of the dorky things that I like, and then I have another taller cubby in the corner next to it that I mainly use to store some extra clothes. Now in the middle of this big blank wall, I have my gaming desk, and yes, it's from Ikea. <laughs> in this Minecraft version of my desk, it looks like it's one big unit, but it's actually three pieces, so I have like a desk in the middle, and then on either side, I have some drawers. On my desk, I went ahead and added my giant desk mat, and then I added my two PC monitors and my iMac. Now, this was so hard to do. You can't tell from the time lapse, but like that black is so black that I could barely see where the little tiny blocks were. So needless to say, it took a really long time, but it looks okay. Besides the monitors on my desk, I also have two sets of keyboards. I have two mice. I have my Elgato stream deck and I have my microphone. Above my desk, I have a cute little shelf that I found on Amazon that displays my YouTube play buttons from both of my YouTube channels, along with my speakers, my cute little crystals, and my Oculus Rift sensors. On either side of my desk, I have two of these LED lights that just light up my room when I want to record videos. In front of my desk, I have my gaming chair that I tried to build in Minecraft. It definitely does not look the same at all, but it's close. And then right next to my desk under the window, I keep my Elgato green screen. Going back to the other corner of my office, I decided to be a little bit extra and actually texture some baskets to go in the cubbies because, well, that's what I have in real life, so I figured I would add it. Since I'm trying to recreate my room as realistically as possible, I went ahead and added the sound foam that I have on my door. I have this here because I thought it would help reduce the sound of the laundry since it's right on the other side of my door, but I actually don't think it does anything. Now it's time for the best part of this video, which in my opinion is me decorating my cubbies because I'm obsessed with my cubbies in real life and now I'm obsessed with them in Minecraft. This part of the build definitely took the longest, but it was honestly the most fun just because I love all the stuff on my cubbies so much. 
I definitely didn't have to add as much detail as I did, but I really wanted to try to replicate it as best as I could. I am missing a bunch of items, but I made sure to add all the ones that stood out to me the most. So we have all of my Minecraft plushies, my Minecraft minifigures, and like my torch and potion bottle. We have a cubby full of Pusheen plushies. I've got my Funko Pops. I have my Pachamari from Overwatch, my Jelly Kid plush from Bravest Warriors. And then I have my anime cubby and my Xbox games. Above the opening to both of my rooms, I went ahead and I added some Christmas lights because yes, I still have Christmas lights in my room, but I like to pretend that they're fairy lights. Next, I just added a few more little things that I have on top of my cubbies, like my super unicorn and my lava lamp. I also added a salt lamp that I have, but for some reason, I didn't do it until like much later in this video. And then on top of my other cubbies, I have a letter K light. For some reason, I didn't add this until this point in the video, but right next to my desk, I have some hooks on the wall that hold my VR headset and my VR controllers. And then in the other corner of my office, I went ahead and added my chair, my garbage can, and my little plus sign wall stickers, and that's pretty much it for this room. Moving on to my bedroom, in the middle of my room is obviously my bed, and as you probably could guess, my bed frame thing. The thing that my bed sits on is from Ikea. I actually just got this bed like pretty recently and I'm low-key obsessed with it because there are drawers built into the frame of the bed. So like literally all of my clothes are in these drawers under my bed and I keep all of my winter stuff in the closet. Now I'm working on the headboard and I love this because it kind of looks like shiplap and you can also hook stuff onto it. So this bed actually came with like little containers and nightstands that you hook onto the little slits of the headboard. So it kind of looks like I have floating nightstands. As you guys probably noticed, I have a lot of black and white in my room just because that's kind of my style. So my bed is white, my headboard is white, my blankets are white, I have a black body pillow, and then my regular pillows are white. But on my bed in front of my pillows, I have something that's not black and white, and that's my purple storm pillow plush that's holding a cute little lightning bolt. Above my bed, I have two posters that I literally just got like a week ago. One of them is like a nighttime scene with mountains and the other one is a sunrise scene with mountains. The wall above my bed was literally empty for so long. It just looked like I had to put something there. So I found these posters and obviously they're black and white. On the wall to the right of my bed, I have this cute little photo collage area. And I already know what you guys are thinking. Yes, all of the photos in these frames are actually black and white. And for my collage wall, I just went on Pinterest and I found a bunch of really cute black and white pictures and sayings that I liked. I printed them out and I just put them in some really cheap picture frames from Walmart. In the corner of my room, I actually have a pile of like plushies and pillows. I didn't make all of them because it's kind of hard and like building things on angles is like crazy difficult. So I only built a few things. I have my little bunny plush. I have one of my little brown pillows that has black pom-poms on it. And I also made my Twitch pillow. On the smaller part of my wall that's next to the door, I have my calendar, which is literally just like chalkboard stickers that I cut into squares and just stuck them to my wall. I literally never use this, but I think it looks cool. In the opposite corner of my room next to my closet door, I have these really cute little shelves with just like random stuff on them like plants and knickknacks and whatnot. I used to have two of these, so I used to have a shelf like this on either side of my window, but as you'll see in a second, it's different now. <laughs> If any of you guys have seen any of my room tour videos over on my main channel, then you'll probably know what I'm talking about. That's a mirror in the corner. I know it kind of doesn't look like one, but I promise you it's a mirror. But because I put that mirror there, it kind of blocked the shelf. So I had to take it down. And then right next to my mirror on the floor, I have my hamper. So on this side of the opening in between both of my rooms, I have a curtain rod for some reason. I think this was my sister's when she was in this room, but instead of putting a curtain there, I just hang a bunch of my dream catchers. As I'm watching this footage back, I don't really know why I kept flipping around like back and forth to different sections of my room, but we're back in this corner again and next to my hamper and my mirror, I have like this little poof ottoman. And on the ottoman, I just have some random pillows. And then as you can see, the wall that my mirror is leaning on has some triangle stickers on it. Then back on the other side of my bed, I just added a few final details like the clock on my other nightstand and the carpet on the floor. And that's it. 
All right, guys, so this is my room for me. This is like so cool because I obviously know what my room looks like and it's just crazy to see it in Minecraft like this. I didn't fully cover the ceilings just because I didn't want it to be dark in my room, but this is it. This is literally what my room looks like. So this is the door to my bedroom. I walk in this way and this is what you see. I have all my pictures on the wall, my plushies, my bed, my posters, all these cute little things on my shelf. I even put my flip flops on the ground next to my hamper. And I also added my cat's bed. For those of you that don't know, I do have a cat and she likes to sleep right there. <laughs> But yeah, so this is basically my room. And if you walked through this way, this is my office. And over here we have my desk where I record videos and play a bunch of games. And then behind my desk, we have my cubbies. I'm obsessed with this. It literally looks so cute. I even went ahead and I added some boxes on the floor because let's be honest, I'm not the neatest. And I literally do have that exact pile of boxes on my floor. But yeah, so I think that's gonna be it for today's video. I'm gonna go ahead and add some photos at the end of this video showing you guys a comparison between my Minecraft room and my real life room. But if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and I'll see you next time. Bye!